Two people have died and three critically injured when the generator of a commercial bank exploded in the Victoria Island area of Lagos. Plus TV News correspondent Emmanuel Olubobukun spoke to eyewitnesses at the scene of the inferno. At the early hours of the day at Victoria Island, engulfs a generator belonging to a commercial bank. Eyewitnesses claim two people died instantly while three others are in critical condition. The witnesses said the course may not be unconnected to activities of individuals who were drilling beside a fuel tank attached to the generator. Explosion took place and then we saw two guys flying out, a white man and a black man flying out of the building of the premises into the main road and then we tried to um, get closer to them to be of assistance. But what we noticed was that there was a very, very thick, typical fire eruption from inside. Those guys were drilling on top that um, the tank, the gas tanker, they were drilling on it before the explosion initially took place. There was a second explosion from within the premises again. So when I tried to get closer, I saw somebody burning completely. I saw a whole human being that was on flame from head to toes. Like, and I was expecting people to get closer, or, you know, be of assistance in any manner, but people were just using their phone cameras to take the view of that person, which was extremely very, very wrong. And, and I hold a very, very high condemnation to that. So we had boom. We are inside plaza working. We had boom. So I think it is a car. So we come out with our engineer. We see the generator close to our house. So people are rushing to the site, they removed two people that very time. The witnesses lamented that the fire service did not respond swiftly as the neighboring companies used their extinguishers to put out the fire before the arrival of the emergency responders. Because the government did not put up the fire, we put up the fire here within the environment. And if they were here, we could say before them again, we put up the fire within here. We had extinguishers, we had fire extinguishers from different companies within the hood. So they had to come forward and try to push the fire behind or else it comes it comes further than the expectation, than normal accidental expectations that we had. Lagos State Government did not attend to this. In, uh, we just commissioned a new fire service at Iru local government about four days ago, which belongs to the, uh, which was commissioned after the name Oba Iru, Oba Bola Oniru of the, of the Lagos State Island. And the, it was just commissioned. I think those, those are just ceremonial, those are just ceremonial fire service. I don't know. But as it is, Lagos State Government did not really try at this fire approach. A lot of things have been condemned, properties have been gone, lives lost. So the fire explosion come out, so people are rushing to the fire distinguisher. Helped in there before the fire service, almost 30 minutes, there is no fire service. So later people help them. Because the fire explosion scattered this police car. You understand? No, no policeman inside. So later go help them, the, the fire is still cutting. So people still rushing to help, no fire service. He further gives account on the number of casualties and victims affected. Instantly, instantly I confirmed two dead and then one trap in, cent in central, while working in central, the tanker and the generator body, one was trapped in it and two dead instantly, they were gone. And we have other tools that were laying lying flat on the road, they were helpless, nobody could approach them. Uh, but uh, so far I heard one of them has dropped dead again. Despite the commissioning of a new fire service station around the area of the incident, the sad reality is that response to emergencies is still poor. Emmanuel Ulububukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.